they got the perfect chance to repaint this with the punch counter punch mold. So let's make it 10 times worse. Point Blank isn't a particular fan of war, and usually he keeps to himself as an unusually quiet individual. He doesn't want to stir up conflict, so he prefers not saying much. It's a good thing Peacemaker's here to try and cheer him up. Weirdly enough, the War for Cybertron line featured Battlemasters and a mold perfect for him, but Point Blank and Peacemaker, despite the Target Master theme, didn't get featured. Legacy did make up for this in the third wave of the Deluxe line. So should I do the James Gunn Peacemaker dance? Cause here he is. This this is based on the original included Peacemaker who's a gun, but it looks more like a pretender alt mode where they didn't know what to make of it. Seems basic with the legs on top and barrel. Compared to the Bowmasters, I don't hate it, but it looks like everyone got the latest Xbox while Point Blank is stuck on Stadia. There's a peg under it as well on the back. Transformation is simple, and he looks fine. It's a more traditional way of doing it. I like the black paint shoulders, blue touches, and painted face. I do wish the arms could move. It's alright if you think of it as an accessory, but if needed, you can give him the one from the Amazon pack. Point Blank transforms into a futuristic sports car, and it seems all over the place with a slope and swift front, boxy canopy, and crazy back end with separate blue spoiler. I will admit, I do like it, especially with the subtle trim of silver peeking under the headlight covers. Love the blue rim wheels pinned in that roll wonderfully. The underside seems to compact well, the intakes are painted, and there's peg holes on the side for weapons. Not only, you can tab the target master right in the middle of the back, which helps to fill in this weird gap. I guess the canopy opens, but it's more for transformation or for show. Point Blank might be all over the place, but he does seem to be a swift looking vehicle, and I think the colors work with the dark red and cyan combined. So far, not bad, or at least not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Robot mode. Happy, 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 happy. Now this honestly is where Point Blank starts to fall apart. I like the transformation of the arms, but the resulting joints are very limited. No upper arm rotation, and not much for an elbow, which stinks when your gimmick is aiming a gun guy. I mean, I like the canopy chest, the shoulders, the spoiler kneecaps, and even the side of the arms, but none of it really comes together. It just feels odd. The legs are bulky, the arms are smooth and short, and his crotch looks like he's wearing a jock strap and pooped himself. Also, these things always pop off the ball joint, but hey, I like the blue accents. The head is fine, I think he's incapable of smiling, but the colors are fair, I like the visor, and the little fin on top of the forehead. Did someone say, articulation? Head rotation, shoulders out and in, forward and back, elbow bend, rotation below, waist rotation, hips out and in, forward and back, rotation below, knee bend, foot tilt, and toes move. And people complained about Earthrise Starscream. Should the elbows have used ball joints? I can't help but feel this was some guy's first time designing a transformer, and he had no advice from the pros. Why do the legs feel a tad heavy, but they're hollow? Let's take a look at the accessories. I mean, we already did. He can store it on the back with the only random piece of kibble out of the way, or in the hand. He can also hold it like a stick. There's portholes in the feet, hands, shoulders, and back. Jeez, even the shoulder ports are placed weirdly. I will admit I do like the design more in hand. Perhaps it's the colors that are working for me. This might sound stupid, but his flaws with the joints kind of feel oddly nostalgic with a few older mainline figures. That's not an excuse for its problems. I could like something and acknowledge that it's still disappointing or that it should have been made better. It's annoying, but I like the Target Master as an accessory, and I like the fact that we got point blank after so long. Can't recommend it, but it's there if you want it. Well, at least he got a better name than what they were going with, Blanker. All Spark TV. Now that's just prime. <laughs>